Hey, and welcome back this time to day three of 20 clinical pearls in 20 days. Before I get into it, I want to ask you of these three markers, which one would you say is the most accurate or reliable in evaluating somebody's iron status? Most people would say ferritin, the stored form of iron. It's what's commonly taught. And I can't entirely disagree until I started to look into this a little bit more. I wanted to show you something interesting. The clinical pearl today is if you're going to be measuring certain markers on a lab, you should probably know a little bit about those markers. Let me give you an example. There's something called the intra-individual coefficient of variance or variant. And there's a few ways of saying this, but basically what it says is that certain biomarkers can fluctuate a certain amount and is normal in human beings. Take, for example, serum sodium that on repeat testing in the same individual shows remarkable stability and less fluctuation than, for example, something like serum iron, which is one of the most fluctuating markers and in the same individual can be kind of all over the place. That's because iron has a coefficient variant, depending on the study, of around 32 percent, similar to cortisol, which is why cortisol is not a very reliable marker that we should just run once on somebody also. So this means that if somebody's serum iron is around 100, that their normal fluctuation could be anywhere between the mid-60s to the 130s, which also means they can fluctuate into and out of range over the course of days or weeks or months. Compare that then to ferritin, which has a coefficient variant of around 22, a little bit better, but TIBC has a coefficient variant of only nine. This means it fluctuates less and is more reliable and is more stable as a marker less prone to fluctuations than is ferritin or iron. Therefore, if you're looking at an iron panel and want to get an idea of somebody's iron status of those three markers, TIBC tends to be the most reliable and the most stable. Now, just for comparison's sake, sodium has a coefficient variant of only one, and it's one of the most reliable, stable, least fluctuating markers of all. Like I said, I think if we're going to be running markers on people, we should probably know as much as we can about those markers so we can interpret them properly, which is why this is the kind of information we teach in our advanced mentorship program that you can learn more about at metabolicfitnesspro.com. I genuinely hope to see you there and God bless.